What what is up YouTube going live right now here on my lunch break um, I only have about 25 minutes left on my lunch break so I figured you know what I might as well do something for you guys um, I actually did upload a vlog I was supposed to go live today but I figured I'm at, I'd rather have it go live tomorrow so I'll go ahead and do that but what is up everyone we got Ramsey oh man Ramsey beat new scientists Ramsey was first today uh, but what's up everyone um so Today, uh, what I do want to talk about, and as I'm gonna go ahead and wait just for a few more people to come in, um, what I do want to talk about today is why, like, is about I'm talking about why is JavaScript so hard to learn? Because uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that thinks this. JavaScript is very hard to learn, especially if it's your first programming language. You know, and there's some debates, and some people will say, you know what, JavaScript isn't that hard to learn, or JavaScript isn't even a programming language. But let's face it, man. Oh my gosh, who got stuck in my throat? JavaScript is a programming language. You can use it for back end, you can use it for front end, you can use it for everything, whatever you want to do it. And um, man, it is bright in here. Let me close my window real quick. But what's up, everyone? Man, we got 26 people in here already. But anyway, guys, so yeah, as you know, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this topic really quick. There you go, that's better. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this topic really quick. Um, and as I talk about it, you go ahead and ask questions, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So who else do we have in here? We got Sean, James, Aaron, we got Aaron and Beta. Dude, look at Aaron and Beta's new logo that's pretty sick man so all right we got about 28 people in here and that's good for me man so i might as well talk about this you know what if you have questions make sure you ask about javascript or anything and i'll make sure to answer them before we end the video so why is javascript so freaking hard to learn man like why is it so hard to learn first of all man javascript isn't really hard to learn <laughs> i mean it is but it's also not i think one thing we have to be able to understand is this is that what is javascript even used for you know, if you know the purpose of what it's used for, what it is intended to do, then you'll be able to grasp it even that much more. You know what I mean? Uh, for example, like what is JavaScript used for? JavaScript is used to manipulate the DOM. It's, it could be used to transfer data. It could be used to make something more interactive, right? Uh, but that is why I want to go ahead and talk about this today, right? So number one, uh, uh, actually, man, I think I titled the video wrong, but whatever. One of the reasons that JavaScript can be hard then, right? And it is, again, it is hard and it's not, but one of the reasons that it can be hard, and I think is, it's mainly because of this, is that when people learn JavaScript, is that what the, the number one biggest problem, and this is what happens to me as well, is that people, what they're doing is that they're actually not practicing their JavaScript as much as they're like you're reading or you're learning. For example, if you go on treehouse.com, link in the description below, check it out, plug in. <laughs> you go to treehouse.com, let's say you learn somewhere else, like let's say you dash you're learning from a book. What people like to do is they like to learn, they like to read, but the one thing that they always forget to do, and I say this in all of my videos, man, all of my videos, what do they forget to do? That they learn it, they read it, but what do they forget to do is they forget to practice it. Like, what is the point of learning a function? It's so that when you do the specific function, you click on it, or you say you hover your mouse over something, or let's say you, you select specific option in a dropdown, or let's say you check a check box. When you click it, what is that function supposed to do? It's supposed to do whatever you do based on the action that you make. But if you don't understand what that is the main purpose of a function, what will happen? All you know, and this is, what, this is what happened to me. I just know, okay, I'm learning a function and I think I know what it does, but what is the purpose of it? When you understand what is the purpose of what that function does or what is the purpose of a loop or an FL statement or you know, in global, global scopes and then all of these specific things, what will happen is that, man, now you'll be able to understand what you're doing. Because JavaScript, honestly, man, it is so fun to learn. I mean, my boss, my manager literally came up to me today at work. Um, I said, Chris, we need you to implement a system. It's in JavaScript and PHP, but it's mainly JavaScript, and I never worked with it. And you know, but because I'm so comfortable with it, because I know the purpose of what JavaScript does, I told him, yeah, give me the project. I'll take care of it. I can do it. Just give it to me. It might take me some time to grasp it, but I'll be able to take care of it right away. You know what I mean? So, uh, yes. Yeah, so what is what you need to be able to do is be able to practice it because I practice it so much every single day. What happens is now I'm able to use and take on pretty much any challenge they give me. Second, okay, one of the uh, second reason um, that a uh, JavaScript can be very hard, and I actually already talked about it, so it's already in there, is that you have to understand the purpose of why you're learning a language. For example, if you're learning JavaScript because you want to learn React, right? If you're learning JavaScript because you want to learn React, and then what you need to be able to do is that you have to be able to understand that the reason that you're learning JavaScript React is so what? You can mainly work with mobile, what? Development. You can work with what? Front-end development. Um, sorry. 
something else. Um, iOS development, you can work, use it with Java, um, Android development. And when you understand why you're learning that language, the purpose behind it, what happens in the long run, you're able to see the main purpose. And I already talked about this, so I'm gonna move on to the next one. But um, again, before I go to the next one, guys, and before I answer everyone's questions, um, I would truly, honestly appreciate it if you could like this video. Um, and actually, I got some good news too before we go on this. Um, let's keep going now. Okay, the next reason. Next reason is this. And this actually happened to me. This happened to me when I was learning PHP. And because I made this mistake while learning PHP, what happened is that I completely like, I learned PHP. I went through the full track on Team Treehouse, right? I, went, I read an entire book on PHP. And what happened is because I went through it too fast, I forgot everything I learned and I didn't have time to practice what I was learning. And guess what? Now I have to do it all over again. Meaning I wasted literally days, hours of my own time for nothing. So the next reason why JavaScript could be so hard for so many people is this. The mistake I made, which sucks so much, is that I learned way too fast way too fast especially when i was on treehouse right because yeah exactly you have to practice right uh, you've been um when i was learning on treehouse my goal was to go through the track thinking and this is when i first learned it this was um a year and eight months ago so when i was learning this track and i went on treehouse right and i was learning on treehouse i was just, my goal was just to go through all the tracks as fast as possible because i thought that when i go these through these tracks extremely fast and finish it i'll be a developer now to be honest, I did become a developer, but I got lucky, <laughs> right? Became a developer in three months, right? But you cannot learn too fast. You have to learn at a slow pace. Do not rush it. You will get there. To be honest, do not be like literally the millions of people out there learning code who just want to go through a book, go through a course extremely fast, and at the end of the day, you forget everything you learn. And that happens to me all the time. That's why I, I, why do you think in most of my videos, I always say the best way to learn a language is that in, on Treehouse is when you go through a track, you finish it, go through it again. Because my mistake is that I go through it way too fast and it messes everything up. Okay, next one. Next reason why JavaScript is so hard and I, and I think it's because of this is that honestly, I don't think people are studying it consistently enough. And honestly, I don't think you can study it consistently enough. Meaning, you know, you'll learn on a Wednesday right and then you won't learn again until next Wednesday. and i think that's a bad mistake because you won't remember anything you learned for last week if you even think about it what did you do last wednesday at 2 p.m unless you work a nine to five job you already know but you don't really know exactly uh what you did and so one thing that you need to be able to do when you're learning a program language and this applies not to just javascript this can apply to what c sharp to php to angular which i'm learning right now man angular is hard i'm not gonna lie man Oh, React is a lot easier to learn than Angular. Angular, um, honestly, is extremely difficult for me to understand. Um, it's so complicated because it's just complicated. And so for me to be able to understand and grasp Angular, what I'm doing is I'm sticking to routine. So what I do honestly think is that, man, is that when you do learn JavaScript or whatever language you're trying to learn right now, is that you need to be able to stick to uh, a routine, meaning at least learn it once a day for 15, 30 minutes. 30 minutes a day, every day for the rest of the year, you'll master, you won't necessarily master it because no one can master JavaScript, but unless you wrote it, but just learning JavaScript every day for a year, let's say you're just studying 30 minutes a day, you'll be able to grasp it in someone who's learning JavaScript uh, an hour every other day because you'll be able to what? Be able to grasp it even that much more easily. You know what I mean? So uh, those are my tips to help you understand JavaScript and why it could be so hard for some people to understand it right now. Uh, but all right, let's go ahead and look at the language questions right now. Um, it is hot, by the way, but my window's closed so I can see everyone's questions. So who's in here? Um, so Ramsey Jordan, what's up, bro? He says, I took a two and a half hour tech quiz for a job. It kicked his butt. I, he didn't even look at the results, but they said it was fine. The score don't matter. Why give the test? The reason, Ramsey, the reason that people give a, a test in JavaScript, even in HTML, is to see how you solve it. The, the goal is just, I mean, if you're able to solve it even better, but when you take a, a test, when you're about to apply for a job, more than just like acing it, what they're looking for is how do you problem solve it? Right? Are you humble enough to ask for help? Or how do you look for an answer on Google? Or um, how do you look for the answer when you look on the internet? Or, or, you know, or, or do you even know how to find the answer? Which is even more important, right? Because to be honest, man, I can't find all the answers and everything. But like, I don't know the answers to everything, but I know how to find the answer fairly easy. And if I look in the API, let's get a Twitter API, and I don't know how to integrate with it right now from memory, but I look at it and I know how to solve the problem. That's what they're looking for, more than anything, man. So. Um, all right, anything else? Nick Ellis says, I remember when I first started watching videos, I was like, why does this guy laugh at the end of every other sentence? 
Um, <laughs> I don't know why I laugh at every other sentence. I think because no one laughs at my jokes, so I laugh at myself and I think I'm funny. So anyway, uh, Boom says, don't say that JavaScript is hard. I'm going to the treehouse and I haven't even made it to the JavaScript lesson yet. Dude, Boom, your confidence, um, it is, it's hard for everyone to learn for the first program lang language. Why? The reason that it's hard for people to learn is because it's your first pro programming language. You're learning how to speak to a computer. You're learning how to tell a computer or a website to do what you want it to do. It's going to be hard, but everything is hard, but you can do it, man. You can do it. All right, let's see. Um, okay, Evans Cloud says, how can you practice something you still don't understand? Is you start practicing from the smaller things, man. You start practicing from something that's very small, from the basics, and as you build that up like a block, you just get better, and you just start being able to grasp things more uh, easily, and you have to take your time. You can't rush through it, man. Um, New Scientist says he's using JavaScript with Node.js to build a blockchain. Josh, wow. What? New Scientist is using JavaScript to build a blockchain. Dude, you need to hit me up, man. You gotta hit me up. Let me get into this. Let me get on this, man. All right, let's keep going. Let's going. Um, uh, Ramsey says, um, okay. Any other questions on here? So we got 60 people in here, man. Um, if you guys can, if you haven't yet, make sure you like this video. I would appreciate that. Um, uh, Buffles805 says, coding phase echoes out what you say as well, man. Don't move on to the next chapter until you understand this one fully. I agree 100%. Yeah, Coding Phase and I are bros. We don't collab as much as we should, to be honest. We're actually pretty cool. We text each other every so often. And um, um, yeah, he's my homie. <laughs> um, all right, Michael McCoy says, I spent three hours on one part of the JavaScript course Saturday. Couldn't solve it. Then got the solution. I ran the solution, but it didn't run. So I added the parts I took out, and it worked. Yeah, sometimes it might take time to solve a problem. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that that's what happens, man. That is exactly what happens. Okay, Patrick Stephan says this. He says, uh, what's happening, Chris, um, is that he's been doing JavaScript for a long time, and uh, he's still learning. There's just so much to learn. Can you talk about design patterns with JavaScript or what you prefer? I'm not entirely sure what you mean, though, Patrick. Like, what do you mean, like, design patterns um, with JavaScript? I mean, I use it to manipulate the DOM. I use it to change colors on specific, uh, specific things. I do things um, depending on where you are in the browser, how much you scroll up and down to, you know, specifically, like, you know, change the width or the add opacity to a nav bar. Um, but, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Let's go. Um, Aaron and Beta says, yeah, yeah, bro. It is hot here, dude. It is. I'm melting right now, man. Like, I'm not, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I know it's going to get bright, but I got to open my window, dude. Ah, okay. I have eight more minutes before I got to go back. So let's go see what everyone wants to say. Now it's too bright. Ah, oh, man, I can't make up my mind, dude. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, yeah. Uh, so as Kevin said, repetition is the way to understand a language. And this key is annoying. Okay. All right. So for Faisal says, by doing four hours each day, how much time it will take me to complete front end web development? Um, if you study four hours each day, I think it depends on how much you're taking time to study and practicing. Um, you know, um, I know I, I, it is a numbers game, but it isn't specifically like if you learn web development for 100 hours, you'll be a pro. There'll be people who did learn, take 100 hours to learn web development, but they probably aren't even good at it. And so it's the quality of time you put while learning. And so I can't give you an answer on that, man. Uh, New Scientist is a show off, but he is hustling. He's killing it right now, man. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. Any other questions? Jenna from Long Island, what is up? What do you think about what's dev? I don't know what, who what's dev is. I'm sorry, man. Michael, what is up? Uh, Tux Gnome says, I like JavaScript back end, but not in front end, but not, but not many Node.js jobs. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know Node.js, but I would like to learn it because I know JavaScript well, so I think it'd be cool. Home Video says, how many hours do you spend on your job daily? I sp work about set eight hours a day. Um, I work with HTML, JavaScript um, every single day, PHP, um, and we're implementing Angular into our system, which I'm extremely excited about, man. So, okay. Uh, David Brenner says, Treehouse and Gordon's use practical JS. Okay, I'm not, okay, let's keep going. Um, Oh, okay. If I prefer functions or classes on JavaScript, I prefer functions. I, I, I literally use functions every single day. All right. Anything else? Let's see. Anything else on here, man? Um, any other questions? No other questions. All right, guys. If that's it, man. I'm going to go ahead um, and end the video here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Damn, we hit 80 people today. That's insane. Um, okay. Now there are questions. What the heck? Okay, you guys aren't letting me leave, man. Stop asking questions so I can go. Okay, uh, Fazal Rem Remman says Treehouse or Udacity for web. 
if you have the funds, I would go for Treehouse. If you don't, go to Udacity. You can learn for free there. But the quality and courses between Udacity and Treehouse is huge. Treehouse kills it every single day. Um, uh, all right. Anything else on here? What do you think about JavaScript algorithm challenges? Um, I think they're fun. <laughs> I think they're fun, man. I think they're fun. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head out now. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end the, video, the live video here. Um, if you can, I'd highly appreciate it if you could like this video. And um, I will post, post a vlog tomorrow. By the way, guys, I hit 15,000 subscribers today. It is insane, man. I can't believe I hit 15,000 subscribers. Um, it's been a long time. I, I remember just imagining, like, I... I I wonder how long it'll take me for the, to reach this amount of people that even follow me. I don't even know why people would follow this Filipino talking to a camera by himself in a hot car with no air conditioning working in this car, which sucks, man. But thank you guys so much for that, dude. Uh, if you can, leave a comment below. Love you all. See you guys later. <laughs> I'm dying right now in my car. So this is Kushan. This is Life of a Developer, guys. And, my and I'm out. But hey, if you can't like this video and to, to congratulate me. Love you all. Thanks, guys. Bye.